everybody doing today welcome back to the channel the model building corner it may not look like it but I actually straightened up a little bit um, got the 69 Camaro SS 396 Terry Sanders buddy build put all of that away for now because I'm gonna let that body sit a little bit longer before I put the uh, hockey strikes on it hockey strikes stripes so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is start another box. I don't know if I'm ready to have two builds going at once. But this is going to be... So how's everybody doing today? This is going to be for the 67 Impala. Superstar. Um, and this is, uh, the street machine group build. Like you all had to sit there and watch me do that, right? Um, so I figured while I'm waiting on that, I might as well get some, something going on this. Um, you know, again, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hit the hood with, a light gray primer after I finish sanding and cleaning it up and it's gonna stay light gray primer because this dude is in high school he just bought the car he's working on it he's got the motor good he ended up buying an aftermarket hood for it I mean the car is already you know the condition of the paint is it's what 10 15 year old paint he's he can't repaint the car but so he primered the hood and of course like I mentioned the car is gonna have a little bit of body rot I did look that up yesterday to see if I can find out like what the common areas were for like minor body rot and as soon as you try to google it and search it and everything else all it does is show you pictures of what they look like today all rotted out sitting in the field or someone just pulled it out of the weeds so that'll be later on down the road but I need to get into this and start cleaning up some parts so I figured I might as well jump right in but so we've already stripped these bumpers so of course I have to work on those but let me switch the camera around and I'll start breaking into this. So I've got a question for you guys. Especially Frank since he's the one that pointed it out. The fact that they put a clear coat on these parts before they do the chrome treatment. Um, since the chrome comes off so fast. If I was to leave this in the purple pond longer. Would, would that clear? Because it's shiny and you can feel it. Would that clear come off eventually? Just curious. Anyway, um, this will probably be a lot of room, room, you know, hyperdrive. Because this can be boring if I even leave it all in. But let's see what we got. And just a disclaimer, this is not an unboxing. I don't like doing unboxings. Plenty of you guys out there do unboxings. I'm sure this one's been done a hundred times. But, I mean, technically I am unboxing it, but it's only to break this all down. Um, throw together all of my uh, parts that I'm going to need to start cleaning. Hey, where's all the chrome? St oh, yeah, that's right. I stripped it all. Don't need that guy. All right, what do we got here? All right, my favorite type of interior. We got separate door panels. See, it's got a nice... I said I'm not doing an unboxing. Stop telling them what you see. Oh, it's got nice uh, rear brake details all right 
Oh, this bag's open already. Wonder how that happened. All right, so we got a set. Stop doing that, Joe. This is not an unboxing. All right. That's my center console that I stripped also. What's this? Nothing. And I wonder what kind of decals we got for this car. I'm sure it's just maybe emblems and a license plate. So we got like... All right, I'm doing it again. No emblems. <laughs> we do have, uh, looks like whatever badges those are. Uh, I can't see. Are these the wrong glasses? Wrong glasses. That's a, uh, a, maybe for the air cleaner, the 396 or whatever this engine is. Is it a 396 or a 427? I don't know. I'll have to look at it. Three turn signals. That's funny. Three markers. I'm, I'm sure that's not what they are. But anyway, that wasn't the point of this. This is going to be boring for you guys. So I am just, there's the glass. I'm not going to touch that. Because I don't know if I'm actually going to use this motor engine. Engine. Or if I'm going to do my first aftermarket. Because, you know, it's a street machine. You got to put something big in there but it's got to be period correct for when it was built not the car but not the original 67 but for the dude that is working on it let me pull these parts off and go from there <laughs> videos short and they all end up being 20 minutes long so I uh, I'm trying I, I'm gonna try to keep this one short obviously so I'm not gonna sit here and sand on all of these parts on camera I mean it doesn't make sense so I'm gonna continue to work on this um, in the meantime what was I gonna say there was something I was gonna say oh yeah I've got an empty box now so all the parts are in here um, I built this car probably back in 2010 or 11 maybe, but uh, I've got some pictures I'm going to put up of the one that I built originally, and uh, 
So take a look. So anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody. Um, so uh, tomorrow I'll get the I got all the stuff taken care of this evening, and then wait tomorrow I'll start some sub assembly and uh, do something fun instead of watching me. So, all right, guys, appreciate it. Have a good one. Take care.